All right, so how I would describe, you know, my music and how I got here. Um, I've always kind of been in original bands, writing music and stuff. Um, me and my girlfriend decided we wanted to move to a beach town and Myrtle Beach popped up as a, you know, potentially good music, music town to come to. And, you know, I kind of transferred and went into the whole looping thing full time and, and, and trying to really master that craft of it and turn it into a really cool, unique experience that most people, you know, don't really do with the looping. So I'm originally from New York City. I did spend some time back up in New York uh, before I been came down here. But I've kind of been, you know, traveling around the country a bit the last like 15 years or so. You know, I, I'm from New York, moved to the Pocono Mountains, lived in Philadelphia a few years, and then I went out into the Southwest and spent some time mostly out in Arizona, but did a whole lot of traveling into California, Colorado, and, you know, that whole portion of the country. Um, and then, like I said, came back up into New York and then, um, you know, from that point, I was there for about eight months, you know, just spending some time with some family and then decided to come down here. Yeah, so, you know, we, we decided to come down here and I didn't really know anything about it. Like, I've, I've heard of Myrtle Beach being from, from the Northeast. You know, I, I know a lot of people come down here, but I've, we've never been here. And we just kind of on a whim decided to, to move down here. And, you know, it's really grown on me in terms of, you know, the music scene and how much talent there really is here and such a small kind of small town feel. But there is a lot of really talented artists here where, you know, I've been in some of those larger markets where you're in L.A., you're in New York City, you're in Austin, Nashville, all that stuff. And it's, it was actually very surprising and a nice breath of fresh air to have, you know, the talent that we have down here. And it's a really cool, tight knit community. And, you know, everybody kind of cares about each other. We always want to kind of push each other up and, you know, like so the food down here is just amazing. I mean, even even your typical bar places are just great bar food. Everything is is just unbelievable. Great seafood, obviously. And, you know, it's just been a really cool experience getting down here and, you know, being down here full time, becoming a local. So one of the coolest things about playing down here um, to me is, you know, it's crazy busy. You know, I, I do this nonstop pretty much six days a week come summertime. And then, um, you know, the views are great. You know, I have these rooftop places I play and, you know, it's, it's just a really cool atmosphere. And then the fact that everything kind of dies down in, in, in the winter a little bit is, is a nice kind of, you know, relief. And then I get to actually work on my own music and being creative, um, you know, where in the summertime it's, you know, the grind of just doing this all the time. And it's a nice kind of little, little break and it really kind of puts everything in perspective on, you know, doing this work when it's here and then having that time off to kind of, you know, soak it in and, and use the year's experiences to kind of create something um, at home, you know, and, and c continue writing and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so one of the one of the very cool things about about the area and the music scene here, um, there's a huge variety. I mean, you have some of the young kids that are just getting into it. You have a lot of the the older seasoned guys that are that, that are putting together these bands and you have a really wide range of, of genres and it really appeals to everybody. I mean, you know, it's not just a country town though. It is, there is a lot of that, you know, being down here, but it's, I mean, you, you have everything and, you know, you have stuff for, for a lot of the older, you know, the older crowds, you have stuff for the younger, the younger crowd. And it's kind of, you get a little bit of everything and it's, it's, uh, it's really cool and a little different from some of the other areas that, you know, they have their, this is what it is and that's it. And it's just very, very open and, and diverse around here. And you can literally go anywhere. I mean, you walk up and down, whether you're, you know, wherever you're at and there's, you know, the, the music at almost every bar, it's kind of crazy. Like you can go into anywhere and there's probably going to be a live band there at some point. So it's very cool. So yeah, so some of my favorite places to play, um, you know, everything, it kind of shifts each season. And, you know, this year I've, I've, I've been playing at, at Lulu's every Friday. Um, up in North Myrtle Beach, and it's that's a very cool place because it's you know it's a huge family fun fun spot, and the sound system that they put in there, they've invested so much money into it, and I get to kind of really be myself there and and put on the show that I want to, um, and then I you know I, I'm over at Tin Roof all the time. Tin Roof is great because they have again such a wide range. I mean, you have me that comes in, you know, I'm there every Monday this year, and I do my thing. Then you have a DJ that comes in. Sometimes there's a band, you know, depending on the week and how busy it gets, if holidays, things like that. So I mean, and they have have three different rooms that they might have music going. Um, so Tin Roof has been really cool. And then you go down to the Marsh Walk. I mean, you know, there's there's such a, a huge range of, you know, 60 miles of beach where you can kind of, you know, go like to anywhere. And, and, you know, pretty much any spot on the Marsh Walk is always really fun down to Merle's Inlet because it's just, there's so many different people and it's, you get a, a big kind of, 
you know, a, a constant influx of, of people coming in, people going out, and there's, you know, pretty much every place on that strip there has music. And, you know, down there, I guess I'd say, you know, the Beer Garden, Dead Dog, that kind of area has been really fun. Um, Tuna Shack has been has been really cool. Bubba's, Wahoo's, I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff down there. You really can't go wrong down that, down that way. But really everywhere, I mean, you know, even up in, in like Myrtle, you know, central Myrtle Beach where you have, you have the Bowery, that's, you know, you have Tin Roof, you have the Riptides, you have 8th Ave Tiki Bar. There's a whole bunch of places right on the water with great views and it's just, uh, it's been really cool. So some of my favorite artists in the area here, you know, solos, bands, J.P. Taylor for sure is one of my favorites as a solo guy. He's as very jazzy, cool, almost free form looping as well. He plays, you know, in, in terms of how I do, you know, with my, he's more keyboard based, but then he plays the flute, he plays the trumpet, he plays all these different instruments and it's very, very jazzy, which I myself am more of a jazz man than anything else. So I very much appreciate what he does. Um, you have Will Sheehan is a really young kind of up and comer. Um, I believe he had a, a little feature on this as well. Um, and he's been, he's been really cool to watch grow. And uh, whether he's solo or with his band, he's been really fun. Um, and then some of my favorite bands, I mean, 100 Grand Band has been great. Every time I see them is always a really fun time. Painted Man is another one, they're really great. Um, on top of that, I mean, uh, what is it, Crash Box has, has been really cool. Um, so there's, I mean, there's, there's a ton of, of different options. You know, you have anything from R&B to, you know, country and soul and, uh, it's just been been really cool getting to know a lot of these guys around here because everyone's really really talented and really cool. So, all right. So yeah. So if you uh, come to town, you know you can always find me, uh, whether it's on Facebook at you know Jimmy Roca Music, or I have my Instagram is J underscore Roca Music. Um, you can always find out where I'm gonna be. Um, I am working on. I, I've been recording nonstop, and I, I should be putting out something. It's just been a, a very long process of putting out uh, an album of my own because I've been in a lot of different bands throughout the years, but I haven't really released anything of my own. So I should be working on that and hopefully getting it out. You know, I'm going to say early. You know, hopefully in the springtime. Um, you know, where I can have a little bit more time in, in the off season to work on it and get everything down and, and ready to go. All right, so thanks again for, for hanging out, watching, listening. My name's Jimmy Roca. I wanna uh, shout out to Loud House Audio in uh, the Arts District here for setting this, you know, for letting us do this here. Myrtle Beach Beats for setting up the whole thing and, you know, come on down and hopefully we'll see you around town and we are the beach.